Okay, let's take a look at the PDB files that we just created. The first one was CSNP for protein only. So I'm going to open that with WordPad. And one thing that we see right away is that this file begins with the crystallographic information. None of the header was kept by VMD. Um, one thing that that could cause is uh, some of the secondary structure helices and beta sheets may disappear in molecular modeling software packages. Um, one thing you can do is copy the header information from the original PDB back into this file to regain that, or at least the you could copy the um, secondary structure part of that file into the beginning of this file. Uh, what I want to do is just make sure that we are starting with the nitrogen of amino acid number six. And since this is protein only, it should only go to residue 298, which was a leucine. And then we have the end of the file. There's no other uh, coordinates in this except for the polymer itself. So that one looks good. Just as a comparison, we also saved one with the ATP. So open that in WordPad. It looks similar in that it starts with the crystallographic information, starts at amino acid number six, and if we scroll to the bottom, we can see that the protein ends with that 298 leucine, and then there's the ATP. This could actually cause some issues you may want to manually go back through if you were wanting to work with the ATP. Uh, you might want to manually go back through and change these to HET ATM rather than ATOM. Otherwise, it will think that is part of the protein when it's labeled in this way. And you would also want to add a terminal line after the end of the protein. Um, we're not going to be working with ATP because it does take some special considerations to do simulations with that, and so I'm not going to worry about it here, um, but that's just something to be aware of if you plan to do work with things like ATP or other molecules that are non-protein in the future. Okay, so that's everything. Our files look good, and next up we will talk about generating some of the necessary files that you need to run simulations.